Hey gang, good morning, happy Tuesday. Happy yoga flow. It's so weird to not have any interaction with you. Um, usually this is the time at the beginning of class where I've had an opportunity to greet you and say hello and maybe find out about how you're doing, how's your job, how are your kids, and I feel so disconnected by not being able to have a chat with all of you. So hope you are all well, hope your family is well, hope you're healthy. And man, talking about being all in this together. Ooh, ride and storm. March 10th was the last time I was in the studio teaching a class. It seems like forever ago um, when you, I could be with you. And I remember at that class feeling like this might be the last time I'd be able to rub you guys down. And it still resonates with me every time I make it on my mat, not being able to be in the same space with you. So let's practice our virtual yoga again from my home to yours. Welcome to your yoga flow too. Courtesy of Yoga Fit, thank you, Ashok and Shauna, once again, for helping us make this happen. Feeling us like maybe, helping us to feel like maybe just maybe there's a few of us out there trying their best to wake up every day and be good and do good. Uh, I might encourage you to start your classes. I oftentimes do in extended child's pose. That's just bringing your big toes together to touch, spreading your knees nice and wide on the mat, sinking your hips to your heels, surrounding your forehead down. If for whatever reason that doesn't feel so great on your knees, maybe just finding a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you today. And then see if you can close your eyes and begin to focus on that breath. That breath will be the magic in your class today. So as difficult as it might be, try and see if you can begin to slowly draw that awareness inward using your breath as the ticket, the ticket to bring you onto your mat and into your practice. I did send out a link to a Spotify playlist. I'm going to be starting that in just a moment. I'll count it down if you'd like to join me at the same time. Coming down in three, and two, and one. Let's go, gang. Eyes closed, breath moving. Slow reminder to all of you of, as you are joining, maybe a couple minutes into this class to be mindful to mute your microphone. Thanks, Kay. First, we define that stillness of our body. See if you can resist the urge to move, just to be on your mat. And begin to notice how you're breathing this morning. See if you can lengthen out those inhales and exhales. Taking a big breath in through your nose. Huge open mouth. Exhale out the mouth. Two more times like that. Big breath in through your nose. Huge open mouth. Exhale. One more time on your own. This last open mouth exhale. Really visualize yourself emptying out that mind chatter. Softening in some of those places and spaces where you might be tight. And then you can take some of those small movements that feel good in your body. If you're in extended child's pose, any kind of variation of stretching to the right and left of the mat or up towards the top of the mat. Maybe rocking the forehead side to side. If you're in a comfortable seat, those shoulder rolls, those neck rolls, those body twists, keep your eyes closed. See if you can send the breath into all those nooks and crannies. See if you can soften just a little bit. Breath in through your nose. Take a huge open mouth exhale. And slowly begin to make your way onto all fours. So if you're in extended child's pose, begin to press yourself up onto all fours. If you're in a comfortable seat, go ahead and just come onto your knees. Be mindful to stack the joints and begin to cycle through your variations of cat and cow. As most of you know, if you've been in my class before, I almost never start class without some variation of that cat and cow as you round the spine, bringing the ears to the biceps. 
I'm pressing the mat away, drop the belly, bringing the gaze, what I'm guessing for most of you, toward the camera, toward the computer. And continue to rotate through each of those. Close your eyes. Again, begin to really cycle through those cat and house, getting deeper each time you come through. And for me, I love to hold that cat coming all the way up into my fingertips. See if I can line my ears up with my biceps and hold as you breathe into the upper back and into the neck. And if maybe just maybe right here, right now, you clenched your jaw. See if maybe you just take a moment to open and close the mouth. Eventually, let's meet back in that neutral tabletop. Fingers spread nice and wide. Be mindful that your joints are stacked. Press your weight into your left hand. Reach your right arm to the sky. A little wrist circle. Take a breath in. We're just going to thread the needle nice and easy. Right arm comes underneath left armpit. Take your right ear down. If that twist is too much, bring your forehead to the mat. And then, you know, let your forehead come up here. Here, come all the way down. Hips are stacked over the knees. And then you can take that variation, maybe a half bind. If your left fingertips reach to the top of your mat, and take a big breath in. Let that breath go. One more breath here. Bring your left hand firmly to the mat. Press it away. Reach your right arm to the sky gate. Up. Right hand comes down. Go ahead and roll up your shoulders. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Really press your mat away. Left arm to the sky. Maybe a little wrist circle. Maybe a finger wave. We'll take a breath in. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Take it nice and slow as you let your left ear come all the way down to your mat. And then do what you did on the other side. Maybe close your eyes, stop forcing it. You might notice this side's a little tighter than the other side, or maybe a little more relaxed. Take the variation you did on the other side. Take a breath in. Ooh. And then slowly press your right hand to the mat. Inhale, left arm to the sky. And exhale, left hand comes back. Go ahead and roll out your shoulders. And then I'd love for you to curl your toes under, walk your hands a little closer to your knees, really press your mat away, lift your knees off the mat, let them hover, feel that energy in your lower abdominals. Bring your gaze down for three and two. Just straighten out your legs, sink your heels, walk your hands maybe a little bit further out and take a moment to marinate in your down dog. So put a deep bend in your right knee, sink your left heel and switch. Now we all have something we like to do in our downward facing dog. Maybe you like to windshield wiper your heels Maybe you like to grab a three-legged dog. Take a couple moments just to breathe into the back of the legs. Your first down dog of the practice. Keep breathing. And eventually we're going to find that stillness. Let's move back and forth. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Come forward. High plank. Breathe. Exhale, glide back downward facing dog. Sink the heels. Press the chest to the thighs. Inhale, come forward. High plank. Breathe. And exhale, glide back downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, bring it forward. And exhale, glide it back. And as you glide back, begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. Take your feet a little wider on your mat. And any variation of ragdoll pose today, heavy head. Maybe today's one of those days you just let your arms hang. Maybe you grab opposite hand to opposite bicep. If you're ready for that chest expansion, maybe interlacing the hands behind the back. Yes. Take a moment, nod your head, yes. Take a moment, shake your head, no. And then drop the arms, heavy head, little bend in the knees. Let's roll it up today. Again, our shoulders a nice big roll at the top. And reverse that shoulder roll. I'm going to turn and face you, bringing my feet together to touch my hands in a preposition at part center. Take a moment to stand at attention and greet our practice today. Relax your shoulders down your back. Close your eyes. And really begin to lengthen out those inhales and exhales if you haven't done so already. Each exhale allows you to sink a little deeper into your practice. Each breath allows you to come more fully onto your mat. Using this opportunity, if you so choose, maybe setting a dedication or intention a day for your practice. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let that intention or dedication be free. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. Bring your arms down to your side. Give your fingers a wiggle. Roll out those wrists. Relax your shoulders down your back. Root down through the four corners of your feet. Maybe lift up your toes, spread them out, set them down one at a time. Engage your thigh muscles. Take the breath into your lower abdominals, belly button to the spine. Relax those shoulders. Yeah. Bring your hands into prayer position. Take a breath in. And breath out. Inhale, sweep your biceps to the sky. See your thumbs at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Nice flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold a little deeper. 
Inhale, we'll reverse you, sweep it up, see your thumbs at the top, and slide the prayer into your heart. We'll do that two more times, moving with intention. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, keep your face down. Exhale, fold a little deeper, take the gaze in toward the belly button. A little bend in the knees as you reverse one more time. Pray to the heart. Last time, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, high plank and hold. Take those shoulders out of your ears. Yes. Nice and slowly begin to bend your right knee. Okay. Shift the weight into your right hand. We're moving to modified side plank. So we're just going to slide and stack that left hip on top of your right. You can bring your hand to your hip or reach your fingertips to the sky. Nice. Sometimes it helps with the balance if you take that right foot just slightly off your mat. Yeah, kind of at an angle. And then if you feel like you're really ready, both that top leg flex the foot. You should feel it in your left glute. Breathe. Turn that top palm toward the right side of your room. Drop the bicep and breathe for three. A little extra challenge. Point your bottom toes. See if you can lift them off the floor for two. And one, set them down. Let your left toes come down. Let your left hand come down. Both knees come to the mat. Roll out those shoulders. And then really press your mat away. Walk hands closer to the knees. Curl toes under. Let them hover. Breathe. Five. Press mat away. Four. Three. Two. Straighten out. Legs and heels. Downward facing dog. Breathing into the back of the legs. Maybe pedaling it out one or two times. Your next inhale, gaze to your hands. Exhale, bend your knees and make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse, sweep it up, see your thumbs. And slide that crowd right into your heart. Let's do it again, only this time let's catch the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold, lead with the heart flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, high plank hold, shoulders out of the ears. Finding that energy nice and slowly, glide onto the bottom of that left knee. Maybe slide that left foot slightly off the mat as you shift the weight into the left hand. Right fingertips might reach to the sky, or maybe today you prefer on your hip. My right hip stacked on top of my left. I'm add a little extra flare. Flex that right foot and feel your right glute engage as you lift it to the sky. Pay attention to that left hand on the mat. Press it away, lift it up. Turn top palm to the left, drop bicep. Beautiful energy from my middle right finger all the way to my right heel. An extra challenge. See if those left toes, as you really point the toes on the floor, see if you can lift them off the mat, the floor just a bit. Take a breath here. Right hand, right knee comes down. Roll it up. Now walk the hands closer to the knees. Curl the toes under. Let the knees hover. Breathe. Five. Shoulders out of ears. Three. Two. Straighten up the legs. Sink the heels. Put a deep bend in that right knee. Left heel sinks. Put a deep bend in the right knee. Left knee, excuse me, right heel sinks. Both heels come down. Yeah, breathe. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Feel the energy through the hands. Inhale, gaze to the hands. Exhale, bend your knees. Make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. We go ahead and fold it. A little bend in the knees as you reverse. Sweep it up. See your thumbs at the top. And slide the prayer in your heart. Take a breath into your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let's take our feet hips with distance, just a little side body stretch before we move and breathe again. Inhale, sweep it up. The left arm's gonna grab on that right hand. Yeah, breathe. I got myself situated a little weird today. Take a breath in, right toes up, and begin to arc. So my left hand's giving my right wrist a little bit of a tug. You feel okay here, maybe float that leg, feel that in that glute again. Slowly let your right toes come down. Let your arms come at your sides. Take your right foot behind your left ankle. Sweep the arms up, take a breath in. We're gonna see if we can catch on to those IT bends feet today. So just gently forward fold. You might like lock up right away. This is a good time to grab on that water bottle or your block. See where your body's at today. Once you reach your, that point where you think you can't fold forward anymore, see what happens if you just shift your weight just ever so slight, slightly to the right and the left. If it's available to you, let the head be heavy. Then root down through your heels, come into a halfway lift, and then reverse. Come all the way up, challenging your balance. And then I'll look for from right through heart center. 
Let that right foot come out, shake it out. Inhale, sweep arms up. Your right hand's gonna grab your left wrist. And then a little arc. That side body stretch, left toes might kick out. Maybe give them a float. Challenge in the balance also. Take a breath in. Left toes down, hands come down. Take the left foot behind the right. Reach the arms up to the sky, open up that chest. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe we get the IT band on the other side. Fingertips might come down again, maybe. If you're lucky, you got a block in your house, you can use that. Play with that energy of shifting the weight just a little right left. And then those the little sweet spots behind the legs. Take a big breath in. Inhale, halfway lift. And go ahead and reverse, soup it up. And prayer to the heart. Let's uncross the legs, shake it out. Take a big breath into your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Hands meet in prep position. Feet are firmly planted, thighs are engaged, belly's tight. Every time we come to the top of the mat, same posture. Inhale, sweep your biceps to the sky. Exhale, take your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump your feet back, shoulders out of ears. As we move through class today, I'll cue that chaturanga that might be on your knees. That might mean coming into low cobra or upward facing dog or yogi push-ups. You decide what's working best for you. I'm going to move through a little more traditional chaturanga. If you're with me on your knees, your toes curled under, let's slide forward a bit. Pin elbows in, lower down halfway. Inhale, come into upward facing dog. Notice, shoulders out of ears, lifting the thighs off the mat. Sh um, uh, pressing the chest through. Take a breath in. Nice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. Mm, breath out. Inhale, reach your right toes up nice and high to the sky. Bend that knee, sweep your foot between your hands. I want you to come onto your back knee, but keep your back, keep your back toes curled under. And then take your shoulders out of ears and notice how the legs feel, the compression in the right, maybe the stretch in the left. So some of us might come up right away onto the interlaced hands and the front knee. And then sink that left hip flexor down a little more. Some of you might want to reach up to the sky with me. Take a breath in. Mm, breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Your hands come down to frame your front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift that back knee up. Really press your mat away. Right heel to the right boot. Hold three. Hold two. Right foot comes back. Shot around it if you like. Down dog. So we catch up. Lowering down with your chest. Be mindful of your movement and your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Take your left leg high. Exhale, bend that knee, sweep your foot between your hands. Come onto that back knee, back toes curled under, shoulders out of ears. Again, maybe we interlace right away. Feels good for you to get that stretch in the front of that hip flexor. Always being mindful, trying to change that interlacing, taking the opposite pointer finger on top. Breathe. Feel okay here, you can reach those arms up. Maybe the gaze comes too. Notice how that just changes the compression and the stretch in each of the hip flexors. Breathe three. And two, hands come down in front of the foot, pull your back, toes under, really press your mat away. Left heel to the left glute, breathe three, and two, left foot beats the right, chaturanga if you like, down dogs where I meet up with you, breath in, breath out, sorry, inhale, exhale, inhale, gaze to your hands, exhale, bend your knees, make your way to the top of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Move down through the heels as you reverse that. Sweep the arms up so your thumbs at the top. And slide the prayer into the heart. One breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let's add on. Inhale, sweep. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands, step or jump your feet back. Move through your chaturanga. On each in, down dog. Breath in. Breath out. Your next inhale, reach your right toes high. Bend your knees, sweep your foot between your hands. Let's bring that back knee down, but be mindful back toes are curled under. Sweep those biceps to the sky. Turn palms out. Really breathe into the shoulders as you take the circles back. As your arms come forward, you can stay in the modified knee on the mat or begin to lift that knee up coming into your crescent lunge. So some of you that might be helpful, take your hands to your hips, take your feet a little further apart. So your feet aren't on one line, but rather on a train track, right? Breathe. Let's bring our hands to our hips today. See if we can stack our shoulders over our hips. So don't want your 
shoulders over your knee, but rather the hips, relax the shoulders down and back. Boot down to your front heel. A little bit of hip dips. Take a breath in. Exhale it out when you're ready. Inhale, loop bend that left knee, let it come down. Inhale up. Go ahead and move with me or on your own. Be mindful if you prefer to stay with your knee on the mat, that's cool. If you prefer not to dip because this doesn't feel good in your hips, don't. But if you're joining me, hold three, hold two, inhale up. Exhale, let's just take a little quick twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Breathing into the right obliques, breathe. Inhale up. Exhale, let's grab our warrior two. Get low. You'll notice right away, be mindful that that knee's not over the toes. I think I say it every single class. Maybe it needs, it means you need to take your feet a little further apart. If the arms are reaching, see if you can keep them at shoulder height. Yeah, relax them. So shrug them a little bit and then reach to the front and back. Yeah, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's find extended side angle. Elbow to the knee or hand to the block. Left arm to the sky. Yes. Challenge today. Be mindful to fire up that back leg. So much so that that back arch might lift off the mat. Let's play. You take your variation. Drop the bicep next to the ear. Maybe some of you will take that half bind. Maybe some of you will float that bottom arm. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. Let's unwind. Take a big breath in and reverse. Try to stay deep in that front knee for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more breath here. As you exhale, curl your hands to frame your front foot. Step your right foot back or maybe let it float. Moving through your chaturanga. Meet me in down dog. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Your next inhale, bend your left knee, sweep it through. Find your back knee. Back toes curled under. So same thing on the other side. Feeling good. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, turn the palms up. Let's breathe into the shoulders. Be mindful that that front ankle is below the knee. As your arms come forward, see if you're ready to lift that back knee off the mat. And then set it up right away. Find those crescent lunge legs, feet on train tracks or skis. Yeah, breathe. Bring your hands to your hips, shoulders stacked over the hips, breathe. Nice and slowly bend that right knee, let it hover. Straighten out. Take it down, straighten it out. One more time, take it down, hover. Let's straighten it out, lift, take a big breath in. Gentle twist, just the right arm forward, left arm back. Yes, inhale, reach up. Exhale, find your warrior two. Now be mindful if your legs are a little fatigued between, maybe you're gonna come up, straighten them out, shake them out and come in. If you want a little more challenge, you're gonna stay low as we move through our postures. Look at those fingers. Roll up those wrists. Turn your palms up and shrug them a couple of times. Yeah. And then settle into that too. Usually I say fiercely look over that middle finger. Yeah. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Take some energy into that back leg. Inhale. Exhale. Zip that belly up. Take a breath in. Let's glide into extended. Taking the variation you did on the other side, maybe starting nice and easy. Always coming back to the breath. Maybe top palm to the front, bicep drops. Maybe you take that half bind and float that top bottom arm for five, four, three, two. Let's unwind, take a big breath in and reverse that warrior. Try to stay deep in that front knee. Only three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, one more breath here. Cut with your hands down. Framing the foot step or float that left leg if you're ready. Chaturanga, I'll catch up with you and down dog. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Bend your knees and make the way to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse. Let the prayer slide to the heart. And it does so. Take a big breath in. Exhale that breath out. Shifting the weight into the heels. Lift your toes up. Begin to keep that neutral pelvis, but bend your knees. Yeah. Lose that severe sway in your low back. Just that natural sway to your low back. Breathe. Inhale. Let your toes come down if they aren't already. Exhale. Woo, relax your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Let's reach our arms forward. Plug the shoulders into their sockets and then begin to glide the biceps right next to your ears. See if you can sit just a little lower. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Reach them up high. Exhale. Twist to the right. Inhale. Reach them up high. Feet and knees touch. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Twist. Inhale up, exhale twist, inhale reach them up, let the prayer come to the heart, I'd love for you to sit a little lower, lift your toes up, three, two, and one, straighten up, keep your palms together, bring your gaze to your palms, take a big breath in as you press your hips to the front of the room, and as you exhale, fold the prayer right through heart center, inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. Chaturanga, I'll meet you in down dog. Right in. Being mindful to lower down with your chest. Being mindful that if it doesn't feel right in those shoulders or elbows today, maybe just hold your plank. We'll be moving just a little faster through that sequence, but keeping that breath moving. When you are ready, inhale right leg high. Bend your knees, sweep your foot between your hands, find your back knee, back toes curled under, sweep your arms up, breathe. And open and release. Inhale, lift that knee up. Exhale, take it down. Add the arms or hands to the hips. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Let's take it down and hover. What you got? Three. Relax the shoulders in two. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach them up, crescent and lunge. Exhale, grab a two. Inhale, flip your front palm. Exhale, let's get deep in our extended side angle. Inhale, come through two. Exhale, reverse it. Big breath in. Hands to the mat, step or flip that right leg. Chaturanga, down dog. Breath in, breath out. Now you might be noticing that I'm not moving through all the chaturangas because I'm flipping from side to side in hopes that you're able to see me. Inhale, left leg high. Bend your knees, sweep your foot between your hands back, knees on the mat. Sweep the arms up. Open them up, let them come back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, taking the variation that feels best for you. Inhale up. Take it down and hover. Breathe, straighten out the leg, reach arms up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, two, get low, breath in. Deep, extended. Lift through your warrior two on the inhale. Exhale, reverse. Huge breath in, hands to the mat. Step or float that left leg, moving through any variation of chaturanga that feels right for you, down dog. Where we need. Find your breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, gaze to your hands, bend your knees and make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse. And prayer to the heart, relax the shoulders down your back. Take a breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Shifting weight into your heels, chair pose. Sweep your arms forward, plug your shoulders in. So let them slide into their sockets by the biceps next to your ears. Sit a little lower. Big breath in. Take your twist, left forward, right back. Inhale up. Take your twist the other side. Inhale up and twist. Inhale up and twist. Inhale up, 
This time, see if you can sit even lower, resting your chest on your thighs, reaching your fingertips forward. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Root down to your heels. Slowly stand up. Find your breath. Bring your gaze to your hands. Press your hips forward. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Slowly fold it forward. Let's take the feet hips width distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put a deep bend in my left knee, straightening out my right. Let's, let's actually switch up. Keep a deep bend in your right knee, straightening out your left. And begin to reach your right fingertips to the sky. Yeah, black is a great option here. So it's that beautiful stretch that you feel in your legs. Deep bend in the left, work the straight in the right. Right hip reaches to the back of the room, right fingertips to the sky, wrist circle. Yeah, at least hips with distance apart. Reverse the circle, take a big breath in, reach up a little higher, and slowly lift that right hand. Move gently, coming on down. Let's try the same thing on the other side. Deep bend in the right knee. Left leg begins to straighten. Maybe your left hand starts on your hip, and eventually bring your tips to the sky. Yeah, really reach that hip, sits bone to the back. Maybe you're floating that arm or grabbing on your water bottle or block. And then maybe take the gaze off that hand for three. Ooh. Two, and one, both hands come down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. So heel those feet back together to touch. We won't be here long. Inhale, chair pose, sweep them up. Sit a little lower. Big breath in. Exhale, twist to the right, one on each side. Inhale up, try the other side, breathe. Inhale up, take a big breath in. Straighten up, palms meet, breath in again. Exhale, fold through the heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, chaturanga. Down dog, breath in, breath out. Inhale, right toes high. Bend your knees, sweep your foot between your hands, back knees on the mat, back toes curled under, sweep arms up. Open up the shoulders. Inhale up, lift that knee off the mat. Exhale, hover at the arms if you like. Inhale up. Exhale, hover. Last time, take it up. Take it down and breathe. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach them up. Bring your prayer to your heart and pause. Relax your shoulders down your back. We're going to shift the weight forward. Drag your toes. Yep, I'm going to step myself back a little bit. Giving that front leg a little bit of a break. Find your breath. I'm going to ask you to lean forward as you do so. Maybe take the left toes back a little more. Flex the foot and let it hover. If you're feeling really fine, hinge at that front hip as you lift with the back leg. So those are warrior three legs. Breathe. If you prefer to not have your hands at heart center and you love to fly your plane, reach your fingertips back. If you love a warrior three, reach your fingertips forward. It doesn't matter. Breathe. Maybe today those left toes stay down. Three, two, little bend in that standing leg. Let the left toes come on down. Sweep your arms up. Catch your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Blast them open. Warrior two. Take a moment to get yourself settled. Take your hands to your hips. Relax your shoulders out of your ears. Zip up that belly. Take a big breath in as you reach the arms to the front and back. And as you exhale, glide into extended side angle. Beautiful time if you have a block. Otherwise, reach your fingertips as far down close to the floor as you can. Maybe even your water bottle. Take a breath in. Left hand comes to the hip. Gaze to your front foot. I'd love for you to begin to take that block in front of your right toes. Drag your left foot. Yep, breathe. As you begin to straighten out that leg, flex your left foot and lift with the outside of that left glute as you come into your half moon. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale. The gaze can be up. Maybe you reached your arm up to the sky, or maybe you keep that gaze right towards that right foot. Breathe. Hold. Three, two, left hand to the hip. Begin to bend your standing leg. The left toes come down. Come into your warrior two. Flip your front palm, breath in. Exhale, reverse. Come back to your warrior two. Let's straighten out the legs. Take the heels and toes out, relax the shoulders. Breath in through your nose. Hands prep position, open mouth, exhale. Root down through your heels. Let your knees track towards your pinky toes. 
as you come into that beautiful horse pose or goddess. And for me, I like to marinate a little bit side to side, letting my hip flexors warm up, letting my thighs settle into this posture, taking a big breath in. Relax your shoulder breath out now. Engage those core muscles. Yes, breathe. Inhale, sweep those arms up, palms meet. And exhale, pray. Inhale up. Tip down and pray. One more time up. Take it down, get really low. Making Caesar L's with your hands, depending upon how you decide. Take those Caesar L's to your knees and let the shoulders come down. Take a breath in. Right shoulder to the left knee. So my left hand's pressing outside the knee, kind of giving that energy toward each other. Lift up. Other side. Take it up. Other side. If you like one side more than the other, maybe you hold, breathe. Lift up, inhale, straighten up. Let's take our prayer to our heart, heels out, toes in, reach the arms. Take a breath in and fold. Keep folding, keep folding, breathe. Hands come down to the floor, to the block. Take your deep forward fold. In your prasarita, maybe you take your feet even wider on your mat. Some of you, maybe your forehead will come all the way down to the floor. If that's the case for you, and you've got the space, go ahead. Challenge yourself to move into that hand, uh, forearm headstand, or tripod headstand, excuse me. Hands will come back a bit, top of the head to the mat, and slowly begin to lift your legs up and over. I decided not to potentially create an epic fail by attempting that today for you. What a kerfuffle that would be. Take a big breath in. For those of you in that tripod headstand, keep on rocking. The rest of you slowly are going to walk your hands up just directly below your face, maybe grabbing onto a black left hand on the mat, right arm to the sky. Little wrist circle at the top for you, letting your back, your lats, your low back. Take a breath in. Let's thread the needle. So your right hand's going to come underneath your left armpit reaching towards your left thigh, maybe all the way down to the ankle. Again, getting into those shoulders. And slowly reverse your way out. Right arm comes right back up, gaze up. Right hand comes down. Same thing, other side, sweep it up. Throw the needle. Ah. Reaching toward the outside of the thigh, maybe walking the fingertips all the way down to the ankle, gaze up underneath the armpit. And slowly reverse your way out. Both hands come down. Let's climb our way to the top of our mat. Choke heel, our foot all the way to the edge. So my right foot is all the way to the edge of my mat. And I'm gonna rock to the outside of that foot even. Hands can be on the mat. Maybe for some of us, it'll feel better to take your back and knee down as we transition our way into our runner's lunge variation. Keep your breath moving. If you've got that block, maybe some of you are going to rest your forearms on that block. And there's all kinds of variations here. We've been working on many in the studio. So maybe for some of you, you're going to take a block if you're lucky enough to have it above that left knee, walking the hands toward the body. Some of you might be able to transition into your hurdler's pose as you lift the right foot up and off and kick it out. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. Marinate in your beautiful runner's lunge. Stay here for three, stay here for two, and one. Let's slowly begin to transition. Come back to our hands on the mat. Curl your back toes under, lift your back knee off the mat, press mat away. Your right foot's gonna come back to meet your left. Now at the beginning of class, we did a modified side plank where your knee has come down. If that's the case for you, please transition there. The rest of you rock your heels to your left. So they're either stacked or staggered. So on top of each other or staggered. And then transition. Maybe left, right fingertips, excuse me, to the sky. All the variations. Eyes up, make drop. Maybe you'll take tree with the legs. Maybe you'll yogi toe lock the big toe on the right side. Scissor the legs. Breathe here for three. Yes, you can too. Both hands to the mat. Chaturanga if you like. Down dogs, where we need big breath in. Big breath out as you crunch your chest a little closer to your thigh. Breathe behind the knees. 
So if you're feeling that tension in the neck, maybe a couple of moments of head, not in the head, yes and no. Let's try the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Bend your knees, sweep your foot between your hands, back knees on the mat, back toes curled under. Sweep it up. Circle down. Rise up. Hover down. Take it up. Take it down. Remember, yogi's choice. You decide. Take it down and hold. Breathe. Three, two, straighten out the leg. Reach the arms up. Take a twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale up. And exhale two. Oops, let's take it back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Was getting excited. Bring your hands to your heart. So find your crescent lunge legs again. Relax your shoulders down your back. Shift your weight forward. Transitioning again. To really find the firm foundation in that front leg. Right toes kick back. Hinge just a bit at the hips and then flex your right foot as you lift it off your mat. Coming into your warrior three legs. Just imagine you're lifting everything with the back of that right leg. Flexing the foot, right toes facing your mat. And any arm variation. Flying your plane. Warrior three. Whatever feels super great for you. Breathe three. Breathe two. And one. Deep bend in that left knee. Yeah, bring it down. Sweep arms up. Now let's grab that too. Relax your shoulders. Take a breath in. Glide into your extended. What feels good here? And maybe that half moon is one of those moments again. So I'm going to encourage right hand to the hip, left hand to the floor or the block. Shifting weight forward, begin to drag your right toes. And imagine that you're going to lift with the outside of that right hip. Yeah. Breathe. Working to stack the hips. You take a couple breaths here so you have a moment to maybe fall out. Come out, rearrange, and try again. Breathe three. Breathe two. Begin to bend. Come in number two. Yeah. Let's reverse. Hold three. Hold two. And slowly release. Straighten up the legs. Shake it out. Let's take the heels and toes out. Relax your shoulders down in the back. Hands prayer position. Take a big breath in and let's get nice and low this time. And marinate a bit. Deep yoga squat. Breath in. Breath out. Add in a little flare if you'd like to join me. Lift your right heel up. And pulse. And pulse. Three, two, one. Set it down. Try the other side. Pulse. And pulse. Breathe. Three, two, one. Set it down. Both up. Breathe. Four. Three, two, sink your heels, straighten up, shake up the glutes, sweep the arms up, let's take the heels up, toes in once again, breath in, let's fold it forward. Second side, so maybe doing something different here, a couple of options, if you didn't try the tripod hit stand, maybe this time, maybe some of you are going to reach those arms up, take those feet as wide on the mat. The outsides of my feet are parallel with either end of my mat. Now, maybe grabbing the outside of the feet and using that as a leverage to really get into those shoulders. Some of you might be ready for that chest expansion. So interlacing those hands behind the back, showing you that heart and folding forward as those arms reach up and over. You decide what feels best for your body here. We'll be here for a couple of moments. And maybe you start in one and then you transition to another. I'd love for you to breathe here. Hold three, hold two, hold one. Nice and slowly begin to lift yourself up, coming into that halfway lift. And then slowly on your way to the other side. So we give you that runner's lunge on the other side. Hands on the mat to start with toe heel, that left foot all the way to the edge of your mat. So the left side of your mat, maybe you're back to the outside of that foot. Back knee can be down, forearms can be on the mat. Take the variation you did on the other side. Heavy head. Breathe. Breathe. 
Pull three, pull two. Let's meet hands on the mat, back toes curled under, swing the left foot back to meet your right. Again, your modifications to come onto the right knee, otherwise. Toe heel, those feet together to touch, rock the heels to the right, find your side plank on the other side. Again, lots of variations. What feels good for you? Where's your breath? Breathe five, four, three, two, lift a little higher. Both hands to the mat, chaturanga if you like. Down dog, it's where we meet. Breath in, and breath out. Take a big breath in. Exhale that breath out. Inhale, gaze to your hands. Bend your knees, make your way to the top of your mat. In, and come all the way down onto your seat, I'm sorry. Straighten up your legs, give them a little shake. Relax your shoulders down your mat. Take the feet, the soles and heels of the feet together to touch in a little bit of Sukta Baddha Konasana. A little more intensity by bringing the heels closer to the pelvis. A little less intensity, take the toes a little further away. Grabbing onto the feet, take your thumbs just under the balls of your feet. And see if maybe as you're rocking side to side, you can open up those feet like a book. So get into those ankles a little bit. And as you do that, press your elbows into your knees and give yourself a little forward fold. Get into those hips even more, right? Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Nice and slowly come up. Step one vertebra on top of the other. Bring the knees back together to touch. Grab behind the knees and slowly begin to lift the toes off the mat. Breathe. Finding that sweet spot. Modifications to take your hands behind you. If your tailbone's a little uh, tender and it doesn't feel good on the mat, roll your mat behind you. Gives it gives you a little support or a towel. Relax your shoulder, shine your heart. Notice the difference between a rounded shoulder and press. Lots of variations. Maybe some of you will have your toes on your mat. Maybe some of you will be floating. Working on that straight, straight leg. One way to do that is to grab onto those legs and straighten your legs up. See what it feels like. Maybe your boat rocks. Maybe your boat sinks. <laughs> no, no. Breathe. Feeling really good. Fold the arms. Breathe five. Breathe four. Who starts at five? Three. Two, one, half bolts. Breathe five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. Yes, you can with me. Come on. Breathe. Three, two, take it down. Half bolts. Three, two, two inches off your mat. Energy through your toes and your fingertips. And sink. Woo. Take a moment. Head comes down to the mat. Bring your knees and your chest to give them a little bit of a squeeze. And then rock the knees just slightly side to side. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then begin to place your feet directly on your mat, hips width distance. Bring your arms at your sides, palms facing down, and begin to lift your pelvis, your belly, and your chest into your bridge pose. Yeah. Weights in your heels. Lifting your toes off your mat, arms are at your side. Walk your shoulders underneath. Shine that heart even more. Palms flat on the mat. Shift the weight into that left foot. Yeah. Lift your right toes to the sky. Yes. Lift even higher. Flex the foot. Right knee. Right foot comes to the left knee. Open up in your figure four. Outside of my right knee, working toward the floor. Take a breath in. And I turn up my spine under the mat. Lift that left foot up, interlace behind the thigh, pulling that leg in, breathe. And press that right heel just a little, little left side of your mat for one breath. Back to the center. Left foot comes down, let's uncross the legs. Arms at sides, palms facing down, pull up the pelvis, the belly, and the chest, lift up, big bridge. Be mindful that right ankle's below the knee, root down through that heel, left toes to the sky. Flex the foot, left ankle, right knee. Open up that left knee toward the floor. Lift that hip even higher. And release. Right foot off the floor, interlace behind the right thigh. Pull the thigh in, get into that left glute. And get that left heel a little press to the right side of your room. Take it back to the center. 
right foot comes down, left foot comes down, arms are at sides, palms facing down, knees to the chest, flex the feet, heels to the ceiling, toes to the face, legs up the wall. Beautiful posture to practice on a real wall. Keeping your low back on the mat again. Yeah, so for some of you, maybe a deeper bend in your knees as you're doing this. Some of you might be holding on to your legs. Yes. See if you can straighten out your legs even more as you squeeze your heels to the ceiling. Breathe. I want you to pay attention. Belly button to spine, spine to the mat, arms are at the sides, palms facing down, jaws relaxed. Heads on the mat. See if you can sink your chin a little closer to your chest. Point your right toe. And slowly begin to lower it down toward your mat. Flex and lift it up. Point your left toe. Slowly lower it down. Flex and let it meet your right. One more each side. Point. Slowly lower. Flex. Lift it up. Point left. Slowly lower. Flex. Pull it up. Pause here. Breathe. Five. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. Point your toes. Bring your knees into your chest. Take your knees in a little circle in one direction. Please reverse that circle. And bring your knees in towards your chest. Take your knees towards your arms, armpits. Flex your feet. Point and flex. Circle those ankles in each direction. Then flex your feet. Grab the inside arches of your feet and press down. My feet are pressing into my hands, my hands into my feet, and I'm rocking a little side to side. But being mindful, really working very hard to get my tailbone onto the mat. Peace fingers might grab the big toes and a yogi toe lock. You can straighten out the legs. That'll get into your inner thighs. If you're working on that rock and rolling back and forth, you're going to bring the knees in toward the pelvis and use that momentum to rock back and forth. Maybe eventually rocking into your straddle. If you are enjoying your stretch where you are at, steady. Breathe. And eventually bring your knees back to your chest. Bring your left foot to the floor, right ankle to the left knee, staying in your figure four, making a capital T with your arms. Your palms are going to face down. For me, I'm going to take it a little further. I'm going to cross my leg, right leg, right over my left. Breath in. And at the exhale, I'm going to set my legs to the left side of the room. As I set them to the left side of the room, I'm going to be very aware of how my low back feels. Maybe a block, a bolster, a towel, a water bottle might feel good underneath the knees. As each exhale allows them to sink a little more. You want more, take your left hand, grab the outside of that right thigh and give it just a little pressure. Use the exhale to sink a little deeper. Maybe take your gaze away from your legs. See how that changes the stretch in your back. Close your eyes and sink. Gaze back to the center. Left hand releases if it isn't already. Pressing your floor away, lift your legs back to the center and uncross the legs. This time, left ankle, right knee are the opposite of what you did last time. So stay in your figure four, across your legs. Take a breath in, sink your legs to the opposite side of the room. Supine twist. And maybe a little pressure with the right hand as you pull the thigh down. Try to keep your opposite shoulder on the floor. And maybe gaze opposite the legs. Ooh. Each exhale allows you to sink a little deeper. Bring a little more pressure with your hands. And gaze to the center, pressing the floor away. Bring those legs back to the center. Uncross the legs. Knees come wide toward your armpits as you circle up the ankles one last time. And pull the knees back together to touch. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Give yourself a little squeeze. Gently begin to lift your forehead up to meet your knees. Take a huge breath in. And as you exhale, blossom open into your final resting posture, Shavasana. Take your feet towards the corners of your mat. Take your arms at your sides, palms facing up. I surely hope that many of you can stick it out for the next four, five minutes and enjoy some stillness. But if you need to leave, thanks so much for joining me. If you have anything, comments, thoughts, feelings, opinions, go ahead and leave them in the chat. I'll check up on them after class. For the rest of you, close your eyes.
Close your eyes. Let them be nice and heavy in the head. Relax your jaw. See if you can let that tongue drop away from the roof of your mouth. Arms at your sides, palms facing up, and maybe today resting on your heart and your belly. Take a breath in. As you exhale, let your limbs relax and melt into your mat. The easiest pose to do, hardest pose to master, finding both stillness of body and of mind. Use this Shavasana as your refueling pad. Allow yourself to sink deeper and deeper with each exhale. Giving yourself permission to stay in your Shavasana until I pull you out momentar momentarily. As you truly surrender here in your final resting posture, Shavasana. Slowly, gently, we begin to draw that awareness in, back to our bodies as we find those little movements. Go ahead and give this wrist circle and wiggle your fingers. Circle those ankles and wrists. And if you're lucky enough to stay in Shavasana, just mute me and stay as long as you like. The rest of you find a full body stretch, reach your arms up and overhead, point to your toes, make it feel so good. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, bend the knees, turn to your right or your left side and take a moment to pause in that fetal position. Recognizing the magic of this particular posture. Take a moment, hit your reset button, press your hand in your mat and then lift yourself up to a comfortable seat, stacking one vertebra on top of the other. Sitting nice and tall on our mats, legs in a comfortable position, whatever feels best for you. Your next inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Let's interlace the hands, turn the palms to the ceiling, breathe into the shoulders. You rock and roll a little side to side as we give those side bodies one last stretch. Coming back to center, turn the palms back together to touch. Let them meet up and overhead. Bring your gaze up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, slide that prayer right back into heart center. I softly close, circle back to the beginning of class. Maybe you set an intention for your class today. If that's true for you, go 
right, and exhale it out with your next breath one more time. <sighs> Thank you so very much for making it to your mat today to share your practice with me. Huge privilege to guide you. Let's lift the thumbs to the eyebrows and bow forward to serve this practice. Namaste. Have a beautiful day, everyone. My name is Carrie. This is your Yoga Flow 2 from my home to yours. Thank you to Yoga Fit for making this magic happen. We'll keep doing it as long as you guys show up. So thank you for showing up to your mat and being present. Many thanks to my son, who's to my right over here, my student again today. Max, thank you. Have a beautiful day, gang.